origins of the Houston bookstore industry begins with Edward Hopkins Cushing. Born in Vermont, Cushing came to Houston, Texas in the 1850s after graduating from Dartmouth at 21. He taught at three schools in the Houston area before acquiring control of the Houston Telegraph in 1856. He used the Telegraph to promote his ideas for business and education in his beloved adopted hometown of Houston. After he sold his stake in the Telegraph, he bought an existing book and stationery store on Franklin Street in downtown Houston, where he sold books on a variety of subjects until his death in 1879. During this period, most bookstores advertised as music and news dealers, while competing with similar stores in the Galveston area. In the 1920s, as Houston grew more diverse, bookstores began to cater to a wider audience. Today, Houston claims over 100 independent, corporate, and university bookstores. Among them stands Becker's Books. Becker's was built in the early 1990s and represents what a brick-and-mortar bookstore might have looked like before larger corporations gained a foothold on the market. Becker's has kept their doors open for over 20 years, maintaining a finger on the pulse of the internet age and shipping monthly over 1,500 books, approximately 70% of their stock. The diversity of today's Houston bookstores reflects the growing population and many have adapted a niche to stay relevant against the rising tide of Amazon and ebooks. Vendors with or without a storefront attend locally funded book fairs to promote their eclectic wares. In the past 15 years, bookstores of all sizes across the country have not fared well, closing their doors under the weight of online retailers and electronic entertainment. The future of independent bookselling is unclear, but choosing to shop for books through local vendors can help keep independent booksellers like Becker's around for generations of Unistonians to come.